I really like action films. I don't know if I have a favorite action film, but one of the first like memories was being pretty young and watching uh, Die Hard and just loving it. I don't know, maybe something's wrong with me. Two Days in the Valley, John Hertzfeld, the writer and director of that film, very ironically texted me yesterday with a Rotten Tomatoes. They just recently had done like the best fist fights in movies and we're number 17 on it, Two Days in the Valley. The fist fight between me and Terry Hatcher. Back then, I just didn't know how to hone in any energy. I was just like this wild animal. It was like a clumsy person and everybody was like, this is her first movie and they were very patient. But I, not, I hit Terry Hatcher really bad. I connected right in her face and I felt terrible. I felt really bad. I did knock any teeth out, but I think she was a little bruised. I was like very poor, so I bought her like, you know, really cheap beer, a car to just say I'm so sorry. Everybody was mortified because it was Terry Hatcher and there was this like bleached blonde Amazonian cat suit wearing nobody who was like punching her in the face. I was like 16 or 17, I think. I was working in Milan, uh, no, in, uh, in Miami. Yeah, this girl just like got very aggressive with me at a bar and just like started pushing me and shoving me and then started like talking smack and that was it. There was no thought process behind it. My body just took over. And in my head, I thought, I didn't just do that, did I? But then my friend was like, yeah, you just punched her. I might have given myself a light lobotomy while I was punching her, I don't know. But now when I'm, you know, more of an adult and I think back, it, you know, it was probably just like, like something really lame, like it was not badass like Lorraine at all. Yeah, I do a do a, like a big wrestle move, which was like probably the scariest thing um, that I, I had to learn for the movie. Somebody saying to you, catapult your whole body and just land on your back and your neck, which just sounds so wrong. And every ounce of your body and your head doesn't want to do that. We're not really throwing big dudes, right? And he's like, no, we're going to be throwing big dudes. And I was like, well, okay, I don't, I don't know about that. But. I've always been fascinated by aberrant behavior and why people do horrible things. So I read a lot of books about it. It's pretty dark and there's a part of me that wants to be able to understand it and maybe it's just not, you can't understand it. So it is cathartic to get to play a character where you kind of, you are allowed, it's like a free pass for your soul, like nothing bad's gonna happen and you can kind of go and explore maybe what it would be like to be in that skin. I'm really, really good at cleaning, and I'm really good at laundry. I love coming back from a trip and opening up my suitcase and like doing laundry at 4.30 because I'm so jet lagged. Like, I dig that. I can't help myself. Like, I'll walk into my kitchen and I'll be like 20 minutes late just because I'm cleaning and I can't stop. I don't, it's a problem. It's called OCD. It's not healthy. Don't try it, kids. The worst is when I'm making a film and I'm in my trailer. I don't like get enough like cleaning out of my system and then it kind of builds up and then I'm, like in my trailer with like a, my toothbrush and I'm like brushing like the corners of the trailer because it's so filthy and they're like, we're ready for you, Charlize. And I'm like, I'm going to be right there. I just need to get some more corners in here. It was in the backyard. I was um, 12. His name was, uh, his name is, I, I think, but, uh, Nikki Smith. He had braces. We were really nervous. It was kind of like we had set it up. There was nothing romantic about it. We were like, we are this weekend, we are watching Friday the 13th, and we are making out. And then we like stalled and stalled and stalled and stalled. And finally, like, his mom was like in the front, like in the driveway honking for him. And I was like standing in front of him, and we were like, come on, let's just do it. And then we did it and it was horrible. His mom was like, Nikki! <laughs> the braces and the whole, it was just super rushed and terrible. <laughs>